Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, uh, something a little bit strange has happened. I've got this parcel come through. Um, it's a PR package from a company called, I don't know whether it's pronounced Ocpud, um, O-C-P-U-D. I have seen other creators unboxing, uh, unbagging items from them. Um, and this was from somebody called Leo. And I did actually email him um, last week and say that I hadn't received the product that he'd sent me because it seemed such a long time ago since um, I'd spoken to him. Uh, I think it was November and he said he was sending me some items and I said, you know, I was really sorry I'd not received them. Um, and I've gone onto the website now just to have a quick look uh, and get you some details and it's saying website unavailable. So whether that's just today or what's happened, I don't know. I've not had a reply from uh, Leo at uh, Ockpud or Pood or however you pronounce it. I do apologise. But anyway, I'll show you the products um, and I will put sort of, I have got some links um, that I've saved from when I ordered the products. So, well, well anyway, I'm going to show you the products because I like them. Okay, so another little teeny tiny bag and I'm going to show you this one first okay because I think again you'll know why I've ordered this one and these are those tapestries um, that I'm seeing a lot on different sites at the moment and there's quite a few websites popping up for them quite a few creators reviewing them and they're calling them tapestries but they're really like a polyester um, style cloth and they can be used for wall hangings, tablecloths, um, oh, bed throws, anything like that really, uh, or just for decoration. But as you can see, this one has a little Scotty dog on it. And could I possibly not get the one with the Scotty dog on it? No was the cry. <laughs> so this one is a Paris scene. So we have a beautiful lady, all with her parasol. And I will say parasol, it's not an umbrella. We're not going to have rain today. In her long flowing skirt and her little boots at the bottom there. Can I show you the bit? There's the, the boots, there's the boots. And that is actually a huge Scotty dog. Um, I'm hoping that she stood a lot further back because I would be quite worried if... Um, my Scotty was that size, but I do like the fact that the Scotty does show up. We have the Eiffel Tower, with it being Paris, I believe, which is all the fashion and everything, and the beautiful buildings in the background. And then we have this very dapper chap, with his top hat and his pipe, riding a penny farthing bicycle. So, and I'm again definitely not to scale because that is enormous that bag compared to the maybe not compared to the Scotty dog but uh, yeah so I will take a picture of it or I will do a quick video of it um, as I've done on previous set uh, larger items so that you can see the whole thing but uh, yeah I just really like this one this one is 100 by 75 again but it's just the Scotty dog that drew me to it. I say they are polyester. Um, I have washed one of the other ones that I got uh, from a different company, but the same, well, exactly the same, to be honest, the um, border line, as I think that is blanket stitch, um, is exactly the same on the edges. Nothing's frayed, nothing's come apart. None of the colours have run on the ones that I've done. If you are unsure, um, if you do get something like this, then maybe just do a quick test um, wash, a little quick, quick test hand wash just to see if you've got any darker colours or anything. But as I say, with it being polyester, then I, I can't see that you will have any trouble. Just don't put it on a really hot wash. It will need to be on a fairly coolish wash. Hey, go me talking about washing. Goodness me. Uh, it is see through. As you can see, you can see my Scotty Dog logo coming through there. So they're not really to cover anything up as such. Um, I think if you had sort of a very busy wallpaper, heavily patterned wallpaper, you would see it through. You may or may not like that um, look, 
but uh, yeah I'm, i think i may use this actually as a bed throw and um, we have quite a few uh, beds that just get used when the uh, company comes or when the grandchildren come to stay so i think this would be quite pretty and our bedrooms are gray mainly gray um, and there's a little bit of blue in the carpet so i thought this would look quite nice in uh, the spare room was just to throw just to brighten the room up a little bit um actually that'll be the room that i do the uh, little video showing you at uh, the bigger size of it so yeah but look at that little scotty dog yay can't resist a scotty not that i'm obsessed of course <laughs> but yeah and um, i do think that lady is just stunning i love fashion i love old fashion um long skirts and victorian uh, era skirts and things i used to do an awful lot of amateur dramatics um and i loved it when we did the victorian plays where we could all get dressed up in lace uh, bodices and all the long skirts and everything i used to love doing that so yeah this uh, is very very nice i'm very impressed so yeah so i hope the company is still going it would be a shame if they're not after they've sent out uh, products for people to review but anyway so that's number one let's have a now look at number two okay and this one is the same size i believe they were around about the six seven poundish mark um yeah this one is 100 by 75 the same get your little bit of paper in with it to tell you what it is and this one's a little bit more summery. Oh, to be fair, you could probably actually use this one as a scarf. Um, so it's nylon, so it will wash. Oops, get it the right way up, Liz. Get it the right way up. But look at the colours on this. Yeah, you could definitely use this as a neck scarf. Um, or to put around your back. Um, or even to just drape over your shoulders on a summer night. <laughs> But yeah, this is all pretty flowers and pretty butterflies. And it's just mainly a plain background with just this hint of colour in the corner here. Look, with all the butterflies and the flowers. And then it just fades away so that the top part here is all blank. And it just fades away to the flowers here at the bottom. So yeah, another very, very pretty one. I say, I do think that would be quite nice as a scarf. Um, people do wear big scarves these days and do all sorts with them. You know, they can do all those fancy things of tying them round and putting brooches on and everything. So it's very scarfy material actually as well. And you can always tell people it's silk as long as they don't touch it. They won't know, will they? <laughs> as if I'd ever do anything like that. Ha ha ha. Right. Okay. So that is our two beautiful uh We've got a little bit of a mark there. Oh dear. Oh dear, will it come off? Is it on which side's it on? I'll just try a damp sponge and just get that little bit of a mark off there. I don't even think you can see that on the camera. Yeah, so I'd say very useful. I mean, table toppers, you know, just to cover something over. If you've got somebody coming round and you've got a huge pile of stuff, just pile it all up and put a cover over it and they'll never know. <laughs> it's quicker than tidying up. <laughs> Okay, so butterflies and Scotties. Wow, what a combination. Hi, so these are the two canvases, the two uh, tapestries that I've uh, been sent. And this one is this Paris scene with the little Scotty dog. So we've got this wonderful chap on his penny farthing bicycle there with the wonderful Paris buildings in the background. And then the very handsome lady uh, with the ele sorry, the very elegant lady, should I say, with her parasol, strutting her stuff with her fair collar, again with the building in the background, and then we have the Eiffel Tower. So yeah, these are a hundred by sixty-five. Um, this one, I think I'm going to use it as a bed throw. I'm considering putting some beads on this, sewing some beads into it. Um, just to make it pop that little bit, just to put a bit more dimension on it. But if I do, I will let you know and I will show you it. So let's have a look at the next one, which I've got just underneath. And this is the butterfly one. Uh, very thin, this, these. 
Uh, this one is, as I say, the butterflies and the flowers. And it's like sweeping up from this corner here all the way up to there. Very pretty colours, very nice. As I say, I think this one would make a lovely scarf with the uh, way everything is positioned there. But it is crying out for, say, embroidery, putting some silk embroidery onto the top of the flowers or the butterflies or sewing beads onto them. Or if you're not going to wash it and just use it for decoration, then actually just sticking some gems onto it would be very nice if you've got some special gems. Um, some of the larger special gems would probably look really good in the flowers and in the butterflies. Okay, well, that's just a look at them as they are um, in the full, as it were, and we'll pass you back to the main video. Bye for now. So we've had that one, and let me find Scotty again. Have to finish off with the Scotty, won't we? And that one. Okay, well, thank you for to uh, Leo at Ockpud. Opud, uh, for sending me these it's very much appreciated i hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing them with me and um, if you have if you can give me a thumbs up that would be much appreciated and if you want to come back and see what i get up to next then if you press that subscribe button and the little bell next to it you'll be notified when any of my next videos come up so thanks for stopping by and i hope to see you all again soon bye for now